Hello, everybody. Welcome to NFL Picks. I am Drunk Farmer, and yes, I do have more news. Um, let's start with earlier this evening, a major trade happened between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Green Bay Packers. The Raiders gave up two draft picks for this guy, including a number one draft pick. So yeah, Green Bay's getting number one draft pick out of this. The Ra What the Raiders got was, I'm going to probably butcher his name, Devant Adams was a wide receiver with the Green Bay Packers. Actually, a pretty good wide receiver. He was one of Aaron Rodgers' go-to guys, or not the go-to, and probably was the go-to guy. And now Aaron Rodgers lost a weapon out of that. And, uh, yeah, that's going to sting for Green Bay Packer fans. I didn't see this one coming, but uh, apparently uh, uh, Green Bay, Mr. Adams, can come to an agreement. Um, so he's off to, to Las Vegas. And so we'll see how that goes. Also, Allen Robinson, former wide receiver of the Chicago Bears, that, oh man, that hurt. That just hurt. I knew this was coming too. And then I'm a Bears fan, and that dish, ugh, it was a major weapon for Justin Fields. But he won't be anymore. He went to Los Angeles on a three year contract. Also, Los Angeles is hoping to re sign Odell Beckham Jr. So if they do resign Odell Beckham Jr., Los Angeles is going to be loaded with receivers. Also in Los Angeles, Bon Miller. He went to he went off the Buffalo to eat Buffalo wings. Couldn't come to an agreement with the Los Angeles Rams. It was kind of coming. There was rumors about it after the Super Bowl that he may not stick around, but and the rumors were true. And now he's eating Buffalo wings in Buffalo. Oh, Buffalo. <laughs> After all that, we still have more news. Deshaun Watson. Oh, the, the lottery is getting down to two teams. NFC South rivals. The Atlanta Falcons and the New Orleans Saints are making a bid on Mr. Watson. And yet, he hasn't decided as of right now. Well, it's kind of late. It's actually Friday morning where I'm at. And he has not decided. We'll probably know probably by Friday. Probably by tomorrow, actually. Who knows when we're going to know. But I'm thinking by tomorrow at the earliest. The latest, maybe Monday. But I'm thinking probably tomorrow he's probably going to make that decision. Um, the Saints, they've made some personnel moves. Trying to free up some money. So just in case Deshaun Watson does come to New Orleans. Um... Like I said, New Orleans has made some personnel adjustments here and there. And the New Orleans, so New Orleans is making adjustments here and there. The Falcons, I, they haven't really made any moves. If like you know, like everybody's been saying, if Deshaun Watson goes to Atlanta, out goes Matt Ryan. So we'll probably know, but I'm thinking I will know Friday or tomorrow, or in my case today, sometime Friday. Morning, maybe Friday morning, maybe Friday afternoon, maybe Friday night. I don't know. I'm I'm assuming probably Friday morning. So the Deshaun Watson saga continues. Now to Baker Mayfield. Oh dear God, a soap opera has emerged from Cleveland. Um, as you may know, that the Chicago or the Cleveland Browns front office flew down to Houston, Texas to talk to Deshaun Watson and say, hey, would you like to come play for a team? Um, then uh, that Tuesday, Baker Mayfield wrote this big speech thanking um, the city of Cleveland for, you know, for supporting him and everything else. And I guess Baker saw the writing on the wall and jumped the, basically, well, he jumped a gun. Because, <laughs> because Wednesday, Deshaun Baker said to Cleveland, I'm not interested. And now, earlier earlier Thursday, earlier, I think it was Thursday afternoon, Baker Mayfield tweeted out that he wants out of Cleveland. A few hours later, the Cleveland front office denied his request. So... 
Baker Mayfield still got one year left on a five year contract, so that's probably why the you know that's why probably why they're keeping him around because right now the, their plan A Deshaun Watson because it, I I had a feeling that Cleveland was probably going to go all in on Deshaun Watson and now he said he rejected Cleveland and now Cleveland is stuck with a disgruntled Baker Mayfield. Good luck with that. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm sure Baker Mayfield is disgruntled. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. That that's gonna. Tr so I don't know what's gonna happen with that situation, but man, it's gonna be fun to watch eventually because who knows what's gonna happen. Also, before I go, Indianapolis, as you know, they're looking for a quarterback. Indianapolis fans are wondering when they're gonna get a quarterback. Um. Apparently, sources around the NFL and around the internet and everything else, uh, apparently Indianapolis has been talking to Jameson Winston. That could be interesting. So we'll find out uh, how that goes. I'll try to follow that story. But that's what's been going on in the NFL. Uh, I may see you tomorrow. I may see you tomorrow. You know, who knows? Maybe Deshaun Watson will finally make his decision. And end all the suspense. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. But hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. If you have a comment, leave that comment down below. If you have any comments about this show or anything else, go feel free to put a comment. I am Drunk Farmer. This has been NFL Picks. Everyone, I will see you when I see you. So long, everyone. Bye-bye.